Have you done any glissando on the white keys yet? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I try at home and it's kind of easier. Yeah, because the gap is less. So, I mean, no matter what you do, unless you do this every day, day in and day out, you still feel like it hurts a little bit. That's normal. But be very careful. Like when you do the on the floor, don't let that hit the flesh. Or oh, you can get bloody. Bloody? Yeah. Like if you scrape it too hard, you can. You can scrape the skin and I have then. A yes. My mom says getting bloody is part of the normal process. Is that true? The piano? Yeah, like doing. No. Good. No. Muscle soreness, arms falling off, like not, li not like literally falling off. It just feels like you're falling, your arms are like, you know, gone. Mm -hmm. Or fingertips bruising, even that. Those are normal. Yeah. But bleeding? No. Good. No. Never bleeding. I feel, okay. like, I feel like it's kind of hard no, 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 because no. it says like mezzo forte, so I'm gonna do it mezzo forte. And also, how far is it this thing? It just, by the way, that first know you're like, what's that note, right? Mm -hmm. Honestly, they should make an action note of that, but you don't have it. Pretty tough, okay. This on the left, sure. But if what if you mess up, you make 
maybe one or two mess up, you get bruises. Do that a couple more, you scrape it. Okay, so do it like that. And this is the, the number three, right? The number four has something like this. Yeah, with double glissando. And it, gosh, it hurts even more. I don't have a solution for that. You just need to suck it up. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So this is so. Is this well? About how long will it take if I do like this two times a day? Wait, like yeah. this second. Because yeah, the left hand goes like. I know. But that's it. Yeah, yeah, so. but, like the question is like how long is it gonna take to master this? A couple days. Nothing hard about that. Oh, right? A couple days? No, there's nothing hard about that. It's just gonna feel the speed, and then. Really okay. tolerate the pain, and that's it. Okay. See, I didn't practice. I got it. This is not a technique that you practice day in day out. It's not like a scale to arpeggio. You should do a scale to arpeggio every day. Mm. Which you don't. Sure. That's why <laughs> you can be better technique, technique wise. Yeah, but this you just got it. It's so rare that you hardly run into any pieces that require you to do that because you know it hurts. <laughs> It hurts. Even doing that on the key, it can still feel the hurt. Yeah. Anyways, you want a solution now? Do that. All right, from beginning.
Olympics are coming up mm, in two and a half months. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna play the Beethoven and the Chopin? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me write it down first. <coughs> let me see. Yeah, so for this one, that one with the thing is too far to spread. Yeah. Can I also write the eight? Oh, you get used to it. There are a lot of. A lot of. Okay, which one you want to play first? The Beethoven or the Chopin? Which one's easier? Uh, okay. Uh, opus 2, number 2, right? I'm not sure. Opus 3, number 3. Um, wait, okay. Yeah. And then the Chopin is Opus 1, right? Mm -hmm. Like a rondo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, wrote it down. Officially on the list. Officially, yes. Okay. So, first of all, the sound is still not quite there yet. It's still not quite there yet. The left hand will be blurry, most likely. Mm -hmm.
That's the same speed. Okay. Let's turn the metronome a little bit. Try to keep it on hand. We're doing what? How many of da 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 D6? Da D da 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 da. Let's do one big tune up. You keep that on high. So, 
the same? It's yeah, similar to what you had earlier.
thing is, make sure you don't just stop for no reason. Okay, this note, this fast note, always go, it's always slower. Okay? Go faster and slower. But it doesn't stop. Like what you did there. Like, <coughs> no. like what you did. And you stop and then go, stop and go, and it just doesn't quite, quite, quite right. Okay? Next piece. Have you pick up any new exercise? Did you pick up any new sport or exercise? Um, well, my mom's been wanting to like do tennis, but like she still has a tennis court thing. Mm -hmm. Like there's a new system and stuff, and it's kind of confusing. Okay. It's kind of hard to get into. Right so your your mom plays tennis. Are you talking about your community tennis uh, tennis calls or tennis yeah, court? Yeah. Mm, so has somebody played that with you? No, like you know my dad. Mm. Yeah. Good. Good. So you get some exercise. You can run, you can breathe super heavily, train your lungs, upper body strength, you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. Try to go at night after sunset. Yeah, you can play with people there too. Then you're getting better. You know, I play badminton. I don't play tennis. I play badminton since I was a little kid. And I was so out of shape. I went to the Houston Badminton Center and then there were random people there, right? So I just play and then this guy is like in his 70s. Mm -hmm. Then he told me he used to be like the national team in China. And then we play. I thought eating a 70 year would be easy. No! I was breathing <laughs> like I'm about to die. And he's barely breaking a sweat. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know? But yeah. So exercise. It's good for you. All right. Go ahead.
Now, you don't get, you don't get him more familiar with the piece. Where? You're definitely getting more familiar with this piece. You know, I am a cough drop right now, so <clears throat> it's pretty annoying. Like my cold recover, like a week and a half ago, it's still from time to time. It's just like, yeah. anyway, it's the character that's not there. Right now, everything feels kind of like okay, smooth, but I don't hear a lot of ups and downs. I don't hear different emotion in the music. Right. So, how do you describe? How do you describe the character at the very, very beginning? Those bom, 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 What's going on? There? Um, you can do it many different ways. You can be heavy. Dun, 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 in so many different ways and you have to make a decision that makes sense so what would you do okay it's almost like hide and seek right sneaking up on somebody and then start chasing yeah yeah you're gonna be like that the last thing you want to do is play everything kind of in the middle like just walking down the street Doing nothing. That's the last thing you want. Okay? Show me that sneaky thing. consistent throughout all the notes there. See, so lost the sound quality. You hear that? You hear the difference? Again. Okay. And then once you start that fast, you're gonna follow up with the same speed. Also, once you get into the next section, I need more right hand from you. It's too muffled right now. Dun 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 dun. You bring it out. You're also gonna be very fancy with the staccatos. Try again from the beginning. Thank you. 
connection with me. So I hope you can just distract them and like just make them feel comfortable. Did, did you watch? That's probably our generation's thing. Probably like my parents' generation thing. Do you know the cartoon Tom and Jerry? Yeah. Did you watch any of those before? Yes, it was really scary. I didn't watch it after after the first episode, but I knew it that your voice was me in that show. So yes, I did. Oh yeah. Well, kind of. What do you mean? Well, yeah, kind of. What? I'm just drinking water, listening to you talk. You're kind of calling me Jerry. Yeah. Right. Oh, you should totally watch Tom and Jerry. It's so good. Like so honestly, it's very blurry. Yeah. Well, that's the only part. Mm. Like sometimes we look at a photo from a hundred years ago, the picture quality by modern day standards, like that it captured the moment. It could be a battlefield. It could be something great happening right then. <laughs> you know, you get the story, and that's what's important. Mm. And the and the music is amazing. The sound effect is amazing for Tom and Jerry. But that is something that I don't see nowadays. It's like people's imagination is different. Did you watch the episode where Jerry is actually living inside of a grand piano and Tom? Oh yes. It's the the pianist performing. Is it? And then like. What hammers he doing with the mouth? Jerry's like inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cutting the string and things like that. Uh -huh. Do you have any cartoons nowadays that have similar like imagination? No. Probably not. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, back, I mean, I just love the golden age, of, uh, golden age of cartoon back then. It's so imaginative. Mm -hmm. It's like it's out of nowhere. That's like no way you can predict what's happening next. Like you can hit the cat so hard on the back of the head, the teeth fly out. Mm -hmm. Almost like, almost like, <laughs> come back in. It's hilarious. Or you know, everybody need to be quiet because the baby's sleeping, and then Tom get hit, you know, really really hard by by Jerry, and they have to run, run away from the house, and then, ah, and they go back in and chase the mouse. You know, it's like that. It's like that, and it's just hilarious. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, go go look it up. Just just YouTube Tom and Jerry. You should watch as many episodes as possible. And they're not that many. Each one of them is like only a few minutes long. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a hundred some episodes. Mm -hmm. And you can see different um different production through through the through the ages. Like the cat and the mouse kinda look a little bit different from Yeah, the newer from, versions, I don't really like them because of like the drawings look kinda of how they It's look. different, but watch as many as possible. Okay. okay? It's it's fun. And there's also another cartoon that has like three Bugs, mm -hmm. and then two cats and a dog. It's just a mess. But that one's hilarious too. I, I don't remember the name. I never remember the name for that one. Mm -hmm. Anyways, start from there. Character, okay? <laughs>
yet. Nobody's like a softer here. See? Crescendo? Ritardando? Oh, che lata. So, da 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 Jerry, huh? <laughs> there's there's a, a episode where Tom saw a beautiful girl cat, you know, pretty, and then he's trying to please her, and the mouse keep messing up everything. Oh. Yeah, like, oh, dude, let me sing a beautiful song to you, and then I don't know, like chili sauce in the mouth, <laughs> and just mess up everything. It's, it's like that, but. You don't have to contain yourself within the same song. You can have like, you know, as you play through the piece, you can have 50 different scenes showing up in your mind. And none of those are related. It could be like that too. You know, it doesn't have to be the same. Okay? But this one is definitely more like opera. Operatic. That's the word for that. You know what that means? Yeah. Just singing with this really uh, epic voice in front of a lot of people. Okay? Try that. Maybe the left hand pedal? 
character, right? So you see how this same thing is really operatic? Like you're gonna play with those falling notes, rising notes, in different ways. The last thing you want to do is just play them in the same way. That's not good. Okay? So we go If it's something that really becomes more playful, it will take some time so you can actually show the staccato as well. You need to have some <coughs> you need to have some uh, revival in this one. You can do some robotic here. You can push a little bit and then slow down a little bit and then get in there. Do some variation. Okay, the last thing you want is to play that exactly the same. Okay? Why right, don't we take some note first? So many things we went through. You didn't write anything down. I know you probably don't for sure. That's a video, right? I knew it. So you're just recording the lesson and put that, putting that on YouTube to benefit everybody else but yourself? Hmm? You can take the last few notes and just separate that slightly and do that in a very delicate manner, okay? When I say delicate, I mean the first, I don't know, three notes could be legato, the next one could be 90% legato, the next one could be 70% legato, the next two can be 50% and 30%, you know, like that. So every note becomes just a hair shorter. <laughs> and also think about rubato. So suddenly your combination and possibilities are endless. I don't want you to copy exactly what I do, but I tend to kind of let you uh, figure out this thing on your own, so it's a little more original. Yeah? <clears throat> Alright, try that. Oh, by the way, did you write anything down for this section? Okay. Beginning, you know, the character and things like that. Write something down, so you know what to do. Okay. Try heroic. Try it. Boom, boom, ba bum, every chord. Or and this here is the cardo right there. And the bass. Yeah?
to switch just like that. Yeah. What do you call that here? Do you know the word melancholy? It's mm. antenna. Sad. But not like sad, sad, but kind of like, you know, memory, but sad. in shining armor.